Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Marketing Podcast, your source for all things marketing. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Olga Lysenko on the line, and she's Chief Experience Officer over at Even Developers. Olga, welcome to the show. Hello, everyone. Hello, Adam. Thank you for having me tonight. So uh, I'm excited to get today's topic. So we're going to talk about the current digital Ukrainian and European uh, ecosystems. But before we do get into that, I want to talk a little bit more about what you're doing over at Even Developers. Tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Uh, sure. Uh, you know, Adam, I wanted to uh, first start and to describe about our customers uh, because they reflect us and our team. These are digital enthusiasts, early stage startups, or big enterprises in different uh, industries. Um, and um, they seek for unique visuality and custom solutions in web and mobile app development. Uh, they usually appreciate trust, responsibility in a partner, and enthusiastic about agile development and current trends in technology. As I said, they reflect our team of dedicated developers and designers, uh, sales managers, project managers, and C-level executives. And as our motto stands for our policy, even developers, impressive experience. That's awesome. Um, and what are what are some of the um are there any particular niches or um industries that you focus on more than others at even developers uh we usually uh, focus on uh computer software industry internet industry digital marketing agencies as these are the major topics and uh the major industries that we are currently having um clients from that's awesome um, I think that's also a great uh, a great transition. So that's one of the reasons I wanted you on the show to to give us some insight into um, digital Ukraine, Ukrainian and uh, European ecosystems and what's going on over there. Um, tell us a little bit more. Where do you want to start with that with that topic? Uh, sure. Um, you know, uh, there is a phrase uh, in English: uh, "Necessity is the mother of invention," and uh, the current. Um, uh, the current ecosystem can be described as uh, the uh, coronavirus issue uh, that we are facing all today is somehow um, made us to rethink uh, our lives. And due to uh, digitalization, we, uh, it is possible to adapt and to uh, work and oper uh, uh, to live uh, and work effectively. And uh, as for uh, Ukrainian and European ecosystems of uh, digital, uh, there are several issues that are uh, pretty uh, high demanding and popular today uh, due to uh, internet and web-based solutions ma making uh, um, possible to work effectively. Uh, the first issue is it is the ability to work from home whether it is some your family problems or like some uh, global uh, economic problems, you can work from home due to uh, a lot of different stuff that uh, gives us this uh, possibility. Another issue is telehealth or telemedicine. Uh, it is more popular today in uh, Europe, in European countries, oh, uh, in Ukrainian uh, mentality it is not so popular. Uh, but uh, due to uh, the gadgets, we can uh, with the use of the gadgets and web-based platforms, we can uh, like uh, order delivery of some prescriptions or uh, have the consultation uh, uh, from a therapist. So this is a great thing that internet gives us. Um, moreover, uh, one important issue is that uh, remote learning is now possible. And we can say, say that students are um, locked uh, so somehow uh, at their homes and uh, all the video conferencing tools give us the possibility to uh, continue learning or acquiring new skills like uh, with e-learning platforms like Duolingo 
uh, people can learn different languages. Um, and we hear that uh, today uh, this uh, platform acquired um, additional funding and expands across the world. This is uh, really great. And uh, another uh, thing is that uh, all the events can, uh, can go uh, virtual due to, again, like I mentioned, video conferencing like Zoom, its stock price rose recently. Uh, like Microsoft offering uh, different trials, so um, all these gatherings and uh, and uh, summits, congresses can uh, be virtual, uh, which is really interesting and a new um, in a new format. So yeah. this is uh, like the major issues that are currently trending and uh, in the digital Ukrainian and European ecosystems. So I mean, you have you have a unique vantage point because you see, you know, you see work with a lot of different clients, and you get to see the, their projects and what everybody, you know, what everybody's doing and, and kind of these trends. What excites you right now? Like, what is the, that that you personally just see in the landscape where you're like, oh, this is really exciting. I'm excited to see where this goes next. Uh, the next, you mean in the nearest future? It, yeah, exactly. Like in it, just in digital in general. So you you get to see things because you're in, you have a unique a unique position where you get to see a lot of different of the different mm -hmm. trends that are happening. What just excites you? Like what gets you motivated? Uh, you know, um, these situations uh, let us and give us the possibility to think outside of the box and to invent something new. To never stop this flow. This a great flow of innovations uh, is really fantastic, and we see that lots of startups uh, they uh, have so interesting, great ideas. Uh, and uh, as I mentioned before, like about the necessity, so the different um, difficulties they uh, like push us and uh, <clears throat> give us this uh, this tough conditions. Uh, give us a think differently, and from this different thinking, we can create something uh, cool, incredible, and that uh, the world has never seen before. This is re really great, and this is really great due to a digital world, due to, due to internet and uh, all this web stuff. And uh, here, I would like to uh, to say thank you to all uh, software engineers, architects, all the people that are. Uh, in the um, digital world, and they that they do it, create it every day, and never stop. I love it. I I, you, I think that's very well said, Olga. And I and I'm in the same shoes. I'm I'm the same as you. I'm very grateful for all the hard work they're doing and how quick this innovation is happening. And and like you said, yeah. um, it being a necessity that everybody stepped up and they're working hard and they're getting new things and rethinking old problems or and helping on new ones and um, it's just a lot of innovation. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm excited about that too, honestly. Um, so mm -hmm. Olga, that being said. If somebody is listening to this, um, a final question, so two-part question. So if somebody's listening mm -hmm. to this and they want to learn more about even developers, um, and I know I asked you this once, but I want to make sure that we, we definitely get it for our listeners. Um, what are the right types of businesses that are normally a good fit for even um, is question number one. And number two, how do they reach out and how do they connect with the company and with you? Sure. Uh, so uh, we uh, mostly focus on startups in every industry. We can help because we have the expertise, we do the research, we have the great development and design teams that help uh, early stage fun uh, fun uh, funded and non-funded startups. Uh, so uh, this is our core, mm, um, I, like ideal um, client portrait and uh, moreover, these are teams, um, uh, these are small and uh, big teams that seek for additional help in development in industries like digital marketing, internet, computer software, uh, consumer business, uh, consumer services, uh, etc. And you can surely find us by uh, searching in Google uh, Even Developers or on LinkedIn. We have a great page. Or you can just uh, find me on LinkedIn by my name and surname, Olga Lysenko, Chief Experience Officer. And I will answer all your questions.
Fantastic. Well, Olga, we really appreciate you coming on the show today to share more about what's going on in digital over in the Ukraine and also Europe overall. And to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Marketing, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also leave us some comments in the video. Love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Olga, thanks again for coming on the show. Thank you, Adam. Thank you very much, everyone, for listening to this. I really appreciate it.